Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a word of warning. Um, something is happening um, with a info stealer uh, that has actually probably scooped up a lot of data. And according to Website Planet, uh, some security researchers put their hands on a, a huge file. It was like 40 gigabytes or something like that. And it contained 184 million logins and passwords. And this from a gazillion different types of websites. PayPal, Gmail, uh, including, of course, um, Hotmail, including um, you know uh, any Microsoft mail that you could have, Outlook. Uh, and logins to tons of websites that people use all the time, which actually has sparked the uh, idea that people should, with this data breach that was exposed. Now, the file is offline. It was on the dark web, available, 42 gigabyte file. It was removed. And one of the biggest problems is that because the information wasn't actually accessed uh, by um, websites like Avin, uh, I've I been pawned, that info isn't in the database. Um, if it could have had scooped it, uh, what would have been at least interesting, you could have entered your email and see if you know there's a danger. Now you don't know because I've I been pawned doesn't have the database and the information, and um, we don't exactly know who had access to this and we don't actually know who is at risk not probably not every gmail account is at risk probably not every paypal account is at risk and so on but one thing's for sure um just for safety if you use any types of account you should go through them change your password especially if you use the same password everywhere which you you should never do um, but it is recommended that you change your passwords to stay safe because if hackers got access to this database of logins and passwords for all types of accounts, they're going to try to get into your accounts. Um, if you have two-factor authentication, at least that's a protection. If they would try, you will receive, you know, a... Uh, a code or you know a, a warning that you've got something trying to log in into your accounts uh, but it is recommended that most accounts of any kind be uh, the passwords be changed and uh, once again the best practice is to have a different password a complex password of even better practice is to have two-factor authentication uh, that really uh, makes security even better but um, it is a recommendation. I started going through my different um, accounts and changed the password of all of them, even though I use two-factor authentication everywhere, just to make sure uh, that I stay safe. Uh, because this is a big, big database scoop, and uh, the info in there apparently is in plain text. Uh, the passwords are in plain text. Nothing's encrypted. Um, and it would be through all sorts of different aggregators that the information uh, been shared, including I talked about it, how the danger of logging into an account with a Gmail or with a, a Facebook account that you shouldn't do that. Well, this is one of the examples why a lot of the info is apparently shared data from websites because you logged in with a Facebook account rather than creating a fresh new account, and etc. So uh, it's up to you, but for security, it is recommended that a lot of you, or most of us, should be changing our passwords. Uh, and as a practice, the, um, the security researcher did say that we should have, and we should do a once-a-year password change on our accounts that would really make things a lot safer. And of course, better yet, use two-factor authentication so that if something happens, you're still protected. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.